Iram, I've been waiting my whole life for you. I remember dreaming that someday I'll find the love of my life and that someday is today. I've prayed for you before I even knew you. Who would have thought that a happy birthday message would lead us to this day? God has clearly had his hand over our relationship and I'm so thankful he has been in the middle of it all. Today, I take you as my husband, my best friend, my partner in life. Many, many of us fear the future, the uncertainty, the lows, and all that life brings, but I'm more than excited to face these fears with you. I vow to choose love at all times. I vow to protect our marriage. I vow to fight for you in the hard times. I vow to love you for who you are and never try to change you into something you're not. I promise to sit next to you through every Sunday football, even if it means hearing you scream your lungs out to a TV. I promise to push you to Jesus. I vow to always be faithful to you, just as Jesus' faithfulness has been to us. I promise to get better at ironing your clothes. I promise to sing Lanny songs with you. I promise I will one day understand all your movie references. You are the best thing that's happened to me. With you, I feel safe, empowered, confident, and valued. I vow that in this marriage, I will do everything possible for you to feel the same. I will be your number one cheerleader till every dream and goal is reached. I can't wait for more target runs, singing country songs with me, and above all, answer the call of God over our lives. What we do in, in, what we do in life echoes in eternity. Thank you for being the Derek to have merited. And just like our motto goes, I will love you, feed you, and never leave you. Maria, God has a funny way of doing things in the most unexpected way. Never in a million years did I believe a DM would change my whole life. You came like fresh air and you turned my whole world into happiness, knowing that I had found the girl that would, I would want to spend the rest of my life with. Ever since I met you, I love the way you looked at me and the way your eyes sparkled even when it was something that wasn't even that interesting, but you kept you kept interested. You have challenged me to become a better man in our relationship, in, our, in my ministry, and with God. You've been the best thing to ever happen to me, and I'm forever grateful for that. I used to think that I knew what love was and how to love someone, but it turns out I did it until I met you. I want you to know that I'm gonna love you forever. And each day, I vow to learn to know you more and, and love you even more. I wanna to promise to always be with you in the good and the bad. Be the rock that you need. I promise to be the person that leads our home and be the man that you need to provide for your every need. But overall, I wanna be that priest for our home that guides not just you, but also our children. I want to one day be able to sit in rocking chairs as we're growing old together, sitting in a porch with our grandkids. Just want to let you know I love you so much and I'm excited for what the future holds for us. on this special day. For those who don't know me, my name is Denise and I am both the maid of honor as well as Maria's younger sister. Only a few people realize how many challenges you two overcame to be together and to stay together and now you guys are living that dream of being united together and becoming one. As you both sit side by side through this roller coaster of life, remember to scream through the perks Hold hands through the dips, laugh through the loops, and enjoy every twist and turn 
for the ride is better because you guys share it together. No matter what people have told you about marriage, go into yours with an open mind and an open heart. I'll leave you two with a little advice. Love isn't perfect, it isn't a fairy tale, a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. But with God in the center, love conquers all. I love you, Maria, and I wish you the absolute best. Gabe, take lots of care of my sister because you have an amazing woman of God by your side. Man, I can't tell you how thankful I am just to be part of you guys' a special day. I can't tell you, Gabe, how proud I am of you, bro. I know from day one, you and I hit it off. And I know that once you asked me to be your best man, I said, man, this, this speech is going to be hard because there's a lot of good things to say. It takes a man to ask the woman of his dreams. It takes a man of God to ask the woman of his prayers to do life with him. But I pray that the hand of the Lord just be upon you and your wife. That's nice, huh? <laughs> My father-in-law told me at one time, he said, Isaac, if you want to be with my daughter, you got to love her the way Christ loves the church. And I'm going to extend that, that words of wisdom to you. Do the same thing with your wife. And remember that today is just only for a day, but your marriage is for a lifetime. So if ever you feel like you're, you're not empowered, come to one of these witnesses and we will follow back with encouragement to remind you that what God has placed together, let no man come and separate. I love you both. May God bless your marriage.